The price of Bitcoin is booming at the moment. We may even hit 100,000 US dollars per Bitcoin very soon. And we are seeing Cardano fast on its heels with a 70% rise over the last seven days. This is really exciting. Let's have a look at what is going on in the market at the moment to bring in this level of confidence back in Bitcoin and how Cardano is going to benefit from this. All right, let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury. If this is your first time here, hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll keep you guys up to date with everything that's happening in the Cardano ecosystem. But have a look at these charts here. This was a sight for sore eyes. We are finally seeing the market recover at the moment with a lot of confidence after the US election and Trump winning office. Now you may or may not agree with his policies, his behavior and anything else that he does in the world. But there is one thing for sure, uh, people are very confident with his uh, business related policies and how he's going to take the US uh, down the road of recovery in the future. So this is a reflection in the stock markets and in the price of crypto assets as well. Now there's one really interesting aspect around Trump's policies that were coming into play. And this was announced back in the Bitcoin conference in Nashville earlier this year. And this was one of the things here. The GOP is committed to clear crypto regulations, which is huge for the industry, but also making Bitcoin a strategic reserve asset is becoming a game changer for the industry's growth. Ultimately, the US will take the lead. And this is the Bitcoin Act that they want to introduce. The Bitcoin Act introduced by US Senator Cynthia Loomis this year calls for the creation of a strategic Bitcoin reserve to reduce the US spiraling near 36 trillion national debt by buying 1 million Bitcoins over five years. This is absolutely incredible. So the US will become eventually the crypto capital of the planet. Uh, US currently holds over 200,000 Bitcoin worth about 15 billion at the moment. So you can imagine the Federal Reserve or whoever is whatever government department start buying up the remainder of Bitcoin to make up for the 5% of Bitcoins circulating supply that they want to actually purchase. This is Senator Loomis's uh, uh, tweet or ex post after the uh, Trump election results. We are going to build a strategic Bitcoin reserve. And you can see the reaction here, 85,000 likes, uh, lots of retweets or reposts and comments there. So really bullish sentiment overall. Now, how is this going to affect Cardano? This is how at the recent Cardano summit in Dubai, the Bitcoin OS team had this panel discussion and made an announcement there. Check this out. Let me play this for you. Cardano is a very special chain. It is by far the largest, most significant chain built as a UTXO system like Bitcoin and with a long-term view of the world like Bitcoin. But it too cannot interact with Bitcoin. And so the big announcement that we have today is that that is changing, that we have a major change coming for the entire world of Bitcoin, the world of Cardano, the world of crypto and the world of finance as a whole. Because for the first time, those two parallel lines, which were never to touch, are bending towards each other. We are now able, through Bitcoin OS, to verify on Bitcoin mainnet zero knowledge proofs. And this gives Bitcoin brains and eyes. For the first time, we can build smart contracts on Bitcoin and we can give Bitcoin the ability to see what is happening on other chains. And possibly the most important chain to do this with is Cardano. What this means is that we will soon have the ability to trustlessly bridge assets from Bitcoin to Cardano and vice versa. We will also have the ability to utilize the smart contract capacity of Cardano to write smart contracts that execute on Bitcoin mainnet, turning Cardano into a smart contract platform for the largest asset base in the world. We're looking at an entirely new phase for Bitcoin, Cardano, crypto and finance. And I'm super excited to be able to discuss it here on this panel first. Thank you. So this will be absolutely huge for both ecosystems. Users on Bitcoin will be able to interact with dApps on Cardano, use their assets such as Bitcoin and, and trade, play with DeFi, whatever it is on the Cardano ecosystem using zero knowledge proofs that the Bitcoin OS team have all put together, that smart contract layer there to create that level of interoperability between the two chains. 
and this unlocks all sorts of DeFi plays for the holders of Bitcoin. This $1.7 trillion worth of assets here, which are just being held and aren't doing anything. We can now unlock that. Users can start looking at uh, staking mechanisms. They can look at providing liquidity on DEXs between Bitcoin and USD and earning some revenue there. So this unlocks all sorts of uh, revenue plays for Bitcoin holders that are just holding their assets at the moment in a, a, a wallet, whatever it is, and not doing anything with it. So this brings up a whole bunch of new opportunities for them. So what exactly is Bitcoin OS? You can find more at bitcoinos.build, but allows for rollups and true L2s, programmable tokens with runes, covenants that bring conditional payments to Bitcoin, trustless bridging, scalability solutions, and of course, private transactions, thanks to those zero knowledge proofs. And this is all very recent developments as well. This is the post here that announced the first time ever a ZK proof had been verified by Bitcoin mainnet by Bitcoin OS. This was done on the 23rd of July earlier this year. So this is a very recent development and to have them integrate into the Cardano ecosystem and to open up all those opportunities is super exciting. Now with the recent hard fork, the Chang hard fork, it introduced Plutus V3. And with Plutus V3 came a lot of primitives that allowed for interoperability. So now they can sign transactions on Bitcoin network, Ethereum network, and so on. And also allows for the zero knowledge proofs that uh, the Bitcoin OS team are utilizing for this level of interoperability. So this is really exciting stuff major developments in the Cardano space, and hence it's leveraging that growth of Bitcoin and excitement there. And we're going to see a lot of it in the Cardano ecosystem. And from what we can see, other people are starting to wake up to this news and realizing the potential here of what is actually going on. This is Nick here. This is Nick, uh, one of the co-founders of Coin Bureau, the essentially the biggest crypto YouTube channel out there. And this is our conversation about what's happening in the space with Bitcoin OS. Let me play this clip for you. Now, this was the news that Bitcoin OS or BitOS, which is a Bitcoin operating system, uh, which is basically building this smart contract operating system for Bitcoin. Uh, they basically integrated within the Cardano ecosystem. Now, this is quite bullish because what it's basically going to allow is for a bridge of liquidity from the Bitcoin ecosystem to Cardano. Okay. And um, also for Cardano adapts and everything to leverage, you know, Bitcoin security to a certain degree. Now, what BitOS does is it's, yeah, like I say, it uses this, it's, it's zero knowledge proofs, basically. It's a virtual machine for succinct zero knowledge proofs that, that can be posted and verified on the Bitcoin main chain. Okay. Now, this is a project which has been building for quite some time. I've actually spoken to the team and we're going to be investing in them. And they basically... Did you hear that? Nick's investing in Bitcoin OS. He can see the vision here and believes in the team. They've been working on it for a long time. And Nick did say there that they're investing in Bitcoin OS itself. So super exciting to hear that kind of thing. Let me just play the rest of the clip for you here. And, and Bitcoin OS basically was this, this holy grail of trying to uh, verify a zero knowledge proof on the Bitcoin main chain, which has eluded many Bitcoin researchers for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, fully permissionless in a fully permissionless manner. And also they've got this, bit, this, the, this grail bridge, right? We can bridge the liquidity between these chains in a permissionless manner, not relying on any, any, any sort of MPC technology and everything. So it's really an interesting integration because, yeah, I, like I say, Bitcoin's liquidity, you've got $1.5 trillion worth of liquidity. Bitcoin's this $1.5 trillion asset class, which can now be utilized um, and, you, you know, like in the Cardano ecosystem, Cardano dApps. So what some people may not realize that a lot of the Bitcoin bridges out there are controlled by multi-sig wallets. These are multi-signature wallets controlled by various people out there that they come together and they sign the transactions to allow Bitcoin to move from Bitcoin main chain to Ethereum, for example. And at any point in time, they could all become malicious and work against what it's supposed to be doing and take all of those wrapped Bitcoin assets, those uh, locked up Bitcoin assets, I should say, in that multi-sig wallet and release it, uh, zero the value of it and do whatever they want with it. So they, they, that could happen. Not saying it will. Don't, don't get spooked out by this. Uh, it hasn't happened before, but it could possibly happen. So it's not very decentralized. 
Whereas with this, the grail and how things are done, the Cardano ecosystem overall, they're becoming even more and more decentralized. So this becomes really appealing. It means there won't be someone standing in the middle that could potentially take all of those BTCs away from the uh, stored wallet where things are at the moment. So this is the idealistic way of doing it so that there's no middleman there and you don't need to worry about that uh, potential loss because someone's acting in a bad manner. So this is super exciting for the Cardano ecosystem and Bitcoin overall. Let's have a quick look at what and who is building on Cardano and Bitcoin. This is the first project I'll mention here. This is Tokyo Pay. These guys are an Australian based company. They are working out of Byron. I've met with the team. They're absolutely brilliant guys. I've got an interview with them coming up really soon as well. And these guys have been working hard on making a really good user experience on their mobile wallet app. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out, Tokyo, search for it in the iOS and on the Android Google Play Store, you'll be able to find it there. But they're now doing deep integrations with Bitcoin. This video here that you can see, they're doing a swap between Cardano and BTC in a decentralized manner directly within their wallet. So this is super exciting stuff and really good developments. There's a lot more here as well. They're integrating in runes, ordinals, as well as everything in the Cardano ecosystem. So if you are a Bitcoin fan, such as myself, if you are a Cardano fan, such as myself, this is the perfect wallet for you. And of course, there's a lot of other Cardano wallets in the ecosystem that are following suit and doing very similar things. So keep an eye out on all of them as well. Now, this is another strategic partnership that the Tokyo team are working on. And this is BTC Terminal Partnership. We're doubling down with growing Tokyo on Bitcoin and building bridges between UTXO bros. Via this partnership with Bitcoin Terminal, we will make further inroads into Rune's ecosystem and growing Tokyo as a go-to choice for powered DAP needs. Bitcoin Terminal is one of the premier tooling providers for Rune's with products including Rune Pads, Rune Scan, Rune Etch, and Rune Books. So this is their commitment to deeply integrating everything in the Bitcoin ecosystem. Now, another project that is deeply working with Bitcoin is Fluid Tokens. Now I am a Fluid Tokens ambassador. There I am on the website still. So I'm deeply invested in this uh, particular project, but they've been building for a long time in the Cardano ecosystem, delivering some really cool stuff. So you can do uh, liquidity pool, borrowing and lending of NFTs and other exotic assets. You can rent the NFTs. You got staking, boosted staking, and you can also borrow staking power on their platform as well. So you have lots of different options here within the Fluid ecosystem, but they have been building for the Bitcoin play as well. So let me switch over to the Bitcoin side here, and they've integrated in swaps for various runes, and uh, they've got the lending on there as well, staking, and all sorts of really cool things that you can now do with Bitcoin assets. And this opens up a whole bunch of new opportunities. They were one of the very first ones to do Bitcoin swaps, native Bitcoin swaps and lending and staking on the Bitcoin network. So overall, this is super bullish news. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you know of another project that is building on Cardano and Bitcoin, drop a name. I'd love to reach out to them to find out exactly what they're doing as well. Now, if you got some value out of this video, hit that thumbs up on your way out to hit that subscribe notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video.